all right this video I'm going to show you to age old tool um, those are C scope and C tags sounds familiar right it should be because it these tools are around for quite some time and people are using these tools extensively in some projects so I'm going to just touch base with with these two tools and this is certainly not an exhaustive material I'm just trying to show you how it could be done in a brief way for for more information you need to search out the man page for it that's the best place to get your understanding right okay. so without further ado let me open um, first and foremost thing once you install this tool by your package manager of your best specific distribution while you are sitting on the first thing you have to do get into a project directory and run this command um, say for instance I have already ran it on Linux kernel source like now if I run cscope hyphen q hyphen b and r hyphen q will quietly done the indexing hyphen b will be built in build the database and hyphen r is going to all the directive directory recursively to run the purpose or to run this command is to build a database for for searching if it is a huge project and you need to hop around quickly and to find out all this stuff this is the way to to get the help from this this tool first and foremost thing you need to run this command on a specific project to build the database okay I have already done that so I'm not going to do it again and it will spit out a file cscope dot out okay so and two other file which I'm not going to mention but it is spit but this is the file which will be concerned this is the database file okay for instance if I then if I go and install because when I built Vim I enabled the flag for Cisco okay when I built Vim from source I enabled the flag enable Cisco while building okay so the things get much easier so for instance if I wanted to because I am in a different directory so I am getting into the project directory and if I search out for a file this is command T no surprise I have mentioned in my other video that what I do this is the plugin called command T which help which has got some sort of fudgy stuff which will allow you to uh, search through the file and control and control p to navigate to that this particular file file uh, window okay let me select it okay so to show your file cs where your database cscope database return show see it show where it is as I said to you I have already done it on Linux source 3 so it is showing up to know more about just CS and press enter see it show you the, the command it is required the add is for if you haven't already added the database 
to work with then you have to mention cscope add then the path of the database that i showed to you a second ago okay where do your database reside i do it by default because i added two line inside my bash or scene to mention the path of the cscope database and export that db these two lines are there in my bash rc so it automatically gets detected okay so find is one of find is the prime thing with cscope which allow with the sub commands as you can see there are various various there to 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 give you the information across the project okay so without further ado let me say so for instance if i wanted to know what are the what are the function this function is calling okay then i'll have to do c find d and control r control w which brings the character under the cursor word under the cursor to the ex prompt see it show you the result you can select the number on the left hand side to get go where it is provided it right for instance if you want to see the function which is calling this then you have to go c yes find c and oops c okay sometimes so if i wanted to see the measurement of it assignment of it see it's showing like it so it is very handy way to see all this stuff say for instance i wanted to know where this text is mentioned in the project right see so as fine okay I ran CS reset because it's very erratic now see it is showing where this text is mentioned in the project it's very nice to find in a quick way okay so if i want to go to the top and i wanted to see where this file is mentioned in the project where this file is included in the in which files okay all i have to do cs find i then i have to type the file dot h oh sorry yes type it what is going on sometime i don't understand why it misbehave file dot h Um, 
see now it is showing and these are the places uh, these are the files where the file is getting mentioned or included okay what else now see if how this file files are getting um, to this this particular file is mentioned cs find f and then percentage for this particular file what you are looking see these are the places where this file sync.c is been mentioned or used okay this is very clean and nice way to get the information in quick succession okay so if I go here and if I try to get the definition of it yes and change Oh really? Okay. So you got the idea, right? So I don't want to confuse it with my with my airy fairy skill, but uh, but this is something very nice to know, nice to use okay so one last thing I want to show you is if I wanted to know the symbol of it 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 will show you all the places where where the symbols is getting I search for export symbol right Oh, the error now I have realized why because the Linux kernel tree is huge it takes some time also the native tool to search through that's why it is spitting out the errors what the error you show uh, previously that is because I didn't give it a chance to complete the search behind the scene so that is why it spit out the error uh, when you when you search for a big big source tree you need to you need to wait depending on how fatty your machine is or how good the the stuff is with you so so the basic idea is it is a nice handy tool which you can use to hover through search through manipulate through a big project Essential. I intentionally tried it on Linux kernel because Linux kernel is huge and it is frequently used probably so and second thing uh, I used um, I use a plugin called tagbar which is a which is a front end uh, to, to do all the tagging on the project okay so I have bounded it with uh, with the key uh, in BIM with F8 if I press F8 see on the right hand side uh, a pen open with all the all the all the functions and all this stuff right if I press here see on the left pen it will go to the specific place if I come here and press enter it will take me to that specific nice right um, very nice thing for for that uh, to get this plugin you need to go here I 
hope I'm going to the right place. Now if I tag bar, uh, this is the one. Okay, you can you can install it and bound it to a key, and you'll get the facility, what it is showing. Okay. nice thing to have at your disposal so these are the it what this plugin that it behind the scene it will run c tags are on a project directory and enlist you and provided you th with an interface where you can manipulate and do all this stuff okay so all these tools are there just to make life easy that's all so I hope this will be useful to some people and if you wanted to know more about it search to your man search through man man page it is the best source to to read about all this stuff okay it has got some option I think it's good to good way to invest your time to learn something which is which is to the taste of time and it will be greatly benefited you'll get benefited out of if you if you spend some time to learn it and use it okay likewise C tag if you wanted to if you wanted to learn more you can you can you can read to the it's it's boring sometimes it's it's not so decipherable but this is the place probably they give you the best information instead of searching and hovering through the network internet okay and it certainly requires some attention and your time to get through all this okay so I hope this will be helpful thanks for watching